Well, here we go. This is Jose Trujillo, guys, world's greatest living artist. I'm ready to get something started here. I hope that you guys are having a great day. Today's my birthday, so I feel pretty cool about that. Working on my birthday. Working on my birthday. Working on my B-Day. And the party like it's my birthday today. With some Starbucks. Bam! <laughs> Let's do this, guys. Uh, let's get started. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a, a a happy little bunny, okay? Those of you who are ready for this, let's do this. Let's see here. I haven't been able to um, create some work that I've been wanting to work on, some work, some paper. I, I'm really, I'm really, uh, I really, I get, I get thrilled with some of the works on paper that I'm, I'm, I'm about to, to, uh, to show the world out there. I'm about to show some awesome works on paper. Look at that. <laughs> That's why they call me the world's greatest living artist. Which, which, bam! <laughs> there we go. Let's do this. So, I know some people out there have been having fun with the YouTube videos, guys. I I'll tell you what, guys. I'll tell you what. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen my 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 YouTube videos, let's say that you're an artist, right? You're trying to do something. You're trying to get your your name out there, you're trying to get your art, maybe not even that, maybe you're just trying, whatever you're trying to do, you're trying to get your name out, you're trying to get some artwork going, you're trying to, uh, um, you're working on your, on your, on your art, art style, right, whatever you're doing, you would benefit so much from watching my YouTube videos, these videos of course as well, but I have, I have over a thousand videos, YouTube videos, where I talk about just about everything, everything to do with being an artist. I, I put it all out there. I don't hold back. I know a lot of people, a lot of people say that they share stuff and they always hold back on the info. I tell you guys everything. You know why? Because there is there is that need, right, to, talk, to, to really talk about everything. A lot of people, a lot of people, they learn stuff and then they never share it and then, you know, they just kind of, they benefit from it, but they never share it. And I, I don't want to be like that anymore, right? I, there was a, a lot of talk like that when I started as an artist where, oh man, you don't share, you, you, you know, you keep it to yourself, you, and I'm like, oh, they're crazy. What are you talking about? You're supposed to share, You're supposed to share the love, you know? Anyways, that's what I think. But you got to share the love. You got to share the, the, the. The, the knowledge, knowledge is power. So that's what I do, guys. I like to share my, my, um, the way that I do things. I like to share the mediums that I use and on and on and on. So if you're doing anything, I don't know. I don't know what your deal is, right? Maybe you're just trying to create artwork and you have no deal yet. Uh, you would benefit a lot from watching my videos, my YouTube videos. And I don't say this always because I try to be um, super humble about it and stuff. <laughs> but... I was looking at some of my videos last night before I went to sleep. I was, I was, you know, just checking out the stuff, the content that I create, and I was like, "Oh man, I got some really cool stuff here." You know, I was like, "I got some good ish there." People are not checking it out. I don't know what's going on through your guys' mind if you're not checking out that content. So there it is. Ooh la la! Look at that little bunny. <laughs> Ooh, la, la. <laughs> this is all done with a with a palette knife, guys. A little palette knife right here. Okay. 
Ooh, there we go. And then we can switch to the brush if we feel like it. First, first we get a feel for it, right? But that's the way the cookie crumbles. I've been trying to get back to as many of you as possible uh, with your burning questions. I'm doing coaching one-on-one. -on -one. Some people have already jumped in. Uh, so right now, right now I'm offering a, a 15 minute, I'm, I'm like Geico, 15 minutes will save you 50% or more. <laughs> I'm like the Geico commercials. I'm offering 15 minutes, uh, 15 minute chats on the phone. Okay. I can't do it for more right now. Not because it's like, cause I got to paint guys. I got to paint. I got to, I got to create some artwork. But if you have an, an, a, 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 some questions, a burning question, that, you know, a set of questions. However, however many questions you can you can cramp in 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 in, uh, in fifteen minutes, I'll do my best to get him. You know, getting those uh, uh, answers answered. Uh, I don't know everything, but what I do know, I, I will share with you guys. So, yeah. Heart, heart, here, what is it? Here, artist says the best thing about you is your art uh, don't have uh, boundaries, I think, right? Boundaries, yeah. Yeah, hell no, you know, no boundaries. I love that. So that's what I've been doing, guys. I've been doing some, some coaching, some one-on-one -on -one coaching. Speaking of boundaries, I'm going to switch over to the brush. Uh, and I know a lot of people out there are like, dude, because a lot of people have contacted me. A lot of people <laughs> have contacted me. We're like, uh, I have a question. I want to be able to, how do I even set up my palette, right? How do I, what kind of colors do I get? How do I get started? And on and on and on. And some people have different types of questions. More, more, more questions like, like, how do I market my stuff, right? And... Things that have worked for me, right? I'm, 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 I'm sharing that with people. Of course, I'm doing a, a I'm, it's going to be a paid service, of course, right? Because, I mean, come on, let's be honest. Like, like nothing, nothing's for free, right? But, uh, but, but I am doing 15 free minutes for those of you who are like, dude, I don't know if I'm going to get value from you. Well, let's, let's test drive, right? Let's test drive. And also, you know, if you do get the, the coaching, the one-on-one -on -one consulting with me on, 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 your, on your burning questions for free, of course, uh, you know, you can go from there and be like, okay, well, let's see if I have, I have more questions, right? Or let's see if uh, what's the next best thing to do where I'm at right now. Or, or I don't know, or you do the, the, the 30 minutes or the one hour, you know, uh, session with me. And if you don't feel like you got any value, uh, it's totally cool with me. I'll give you every single penny back ASAP. Because I, 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 one of the things that I don't like to do is that I don't like to feel like the other person. Like I don't. I, it, it's just I don't know. It's just it's just it's just uh. It's supposed to be that way, right? A lot of people don't even give money back on, on on artwork, and I do that. I don't know if you guys have seen in my in my in my uh, eBay shop or or if you bought commissions from me directly online or through Facebook or Instagram or whatever. I have no problem, no hard feelings, because you know sometimes things just don't fit, you know, and and it's okay. We we should be able to 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 be like. You know, people, sometimes artists get offended and they're like, I'm not Walmart. Maybe you should act like a little bit like Walmart. I don't know. Like, sometimes things don't fit, you know? And if people don't feel like they got value after an hour of talking to me about their art career, their 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 marketing or what they want to do and what has worked for me and, and, you know, what I talk about. If they feel like they didn't get any value, man, like, give them back their money, you know? Simple as that. Don't hold on to it. It's it's the it's the right thing to do. I do the same thing when it comes to my artwork. I stand right behind it, you know. Like, dude, I didn't like the colors. I thought it was different, you know. I thought it was gonna be cooler. I thought it was going to. 
have a frame or I thought it was going to have this type of frame or, or I thought the medium was going to look, you know, or I thought it was going to go well with my interior design and it didn't. Dude, it's totally cool. I totally understand. I do that all the time. My wife does that all the time. She goes to Target and she's like, I thought I was going to buy this, but you know, I thought I was going to keep it, but I didn't, you know, I, it doesn't work and I'm going to return it or I want my money back or I'm going to exchange it. With me, I feel like that is totally cool. So, because I do that. Because I do that. And I think it's the fair thing to do. I just do. Maybe may, maybe I'm doing it wrong. You know, I know a lot of artists say that I do it wrong. I have a lot of artist friends who are like... But it's the same artist friends who don't... Who, who, who don't uh, uh, also get uh, enough business. And I don't know if it has to do with that. Look, I don't know if it's right or wrong. For, for other people, for other for other artists, it's right for me. I I do the whole money back thing guarantee because because I would want I when I buy something I, I would want people to do that. Right? I would want people to be like the company or the business to be like, you don't like it? Totally cool, dude. Find something you like. We're always here for you. And I wanna be that type of I wanna be that type of artist for people. You know, I want to be that type of artist. I want to be the artist who's like, dude, it's totally cool. You know? <laughs> Look at this. Look at this little bunny. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing now, now nowadays, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm working on that. I'm doing like one-on-one -on -one consulting. And, and I want to share that with you guys because it's, 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 it's really, it, it's, a, it's a little facet of my, of my, of my gig here, right? I don't do it so much. I wasn't doing it. A lot of people have asked me for a long time, but I wasn't doing it because uh, the contrast between the warm and the cold colors. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Uh, Books uh, Anonymous. Uh, it's 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 something that I love. I'm, I'm so glad you, you were able to see that. Uh, good eye, by the way. It's it's making that contrast, right? Because a lot of a lot of the artists uh, we learn from from classic painting, right? Chiaroscuro, the dark, the, the dark and the and the light. And I've been doing a play with instead of light and dark only, cool and warm, cool and warm. And and I've I mean I'm not the only one. Of course, there's a lot of uh, abstract expressionist artists out there doing that. I just think it's it's so amazing, right? To have the cool colors right, right next to something burning, right? The oranges, the reds, and it's just, you know, and put some black in there, right, too, for, for extreme contrast. I'm, I'm so glad you were able to, to, to catch that because uh, I love that. I love that good eye. You have a good eye. So, yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm up to. I'm up to that kind of stuff right now. And, and look, if you are have been following me for a while by now and you're like I love what you do uh I'm trying to do something like that I I want to do my own thing I want to be able to to get my name out into the marketplace uh possibly create uh get get gallery shows you know or possibly create some uh some some uh exhibits right and I would like to know how to how to get that going right Give me, give, give me a call. DM me. DM me. I'll give you my number. Give me a call. And, you know, just a little free one-on-one, -on -one, 15 minutes. I'm not going to try to sell you on anything. Don't worry. <laughs> I just might. You might end up with a, with a painting instead of a console. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> with a painting. <laughs> like, buy my paintings. <laughs> oh, let's do Let's do a one-on-one -on -one because I really like that. I, I, You know, when I was starting out, I wish someone was doing that. I wish that somebody would would be would have been open to be doing that, uh, because a lot of us need it. A lot of us need need guidance. A lot of us need a a little push, right? Some of us some of us need a big push. Some of us need to be babied and and, and take taken there, and it's totally cool because I've been in that situation where where a mentor of mine is like, dude, it's like this, it's very simple. And I'm like, simple to you, dude. It's not simple to me, I, I don't get it, you know? I need, I need someone to hold me by the hand, you know? And, 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 and in this situation, and walk me through. And, and I don't want to have shame about it. I don't want to feel shame about it. I want someone to tell me, dude, this is, this is how you get started. 
This is how you put colors together. This is how you go get a, a gallery exhibit. This is how you make your first sale, right? This is how you com this is how you get commissions locally, not just online, right? A lot of people get caught up online and they're missing out uh, uh, the po the local possibilities, right? There's so many possibilities, and I love that. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that, uh, Books Anonymous. Sizemore says the painting is is uh, hopping <laughs> along with the rabbit. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. So yeah, there. You know, and this is this is something that I love about about this technique. Also, that there are no boundaries, as our friend right now said. Uh, uh, there are no boundaries. It's it's really uh, staying open, you know, staying open. Just stay open. Don't allow, don't allow uh, the necessity to comply with your mind. The mind is always trying to, to make you compliant. So don't allow the necessity. Be open, be open. Stay open. Be as the sky. Be as the sky. Stay open. I know it's easier said than done many times, but... But stay open, you know. This is one of the things that I've seen about, about great artists out there, like really great artists out there, is that they are shameless in creating work and they are shameless in their technique. It's almost like it's, when you see them work, it's almost like, oh, so it's that easy, huh? <laughs> it, it almost feels that way. Like, oh, okay, shit, I've been, I've been overcomplicating this whole thing. It's, it's really that easy, huh? You know, Bram Brambilla sixty seven eighty nine. Thank you so much. Very good. I love that. I love that. So yeah, guys, that's what I'm doing nowadays. I'm doing the whole. Uh, well, I'm, I'm painting as well, right? Of course, that's 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 not gonna stop. That's never gonna stop. But I'm doing the whole uh, one on one consulting. I'm getting started with it. Some people have already jumped in. Uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to do the whole, uh, what do they call it? Uh, the, the, uh, when, when, when you see, uh, this is how Johnny did it, right? <laughs> Johnny used my formula and these are the results. <laughs> no, there ain't no formula, guys. It's just, it's just hard work. And and if you don't and if you don't feel like like dude I I don't need to pay you anything like if you have that 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 idea that's totally cool look hey here's how you can avoid cons you know doing some uh, one on one consulting with me go check out my 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 YouTube videos I have over a thousand videos where I talk about just uh, A through Z about about my process painting you know how to get started how to work with a partner. How do you uh, have a, 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 a every day? I do different segments, right? How to keep your mindset correct? Because it, like, don't kid yourself. It's all about mindset. If your mindset's not right, you're gonna feel like like you're you're on a hamster wheel. Some days you'll show up, and other days you're gonna be like, I don't feel like painting. You know, I don't feel inspired, and on and on and on, and it's gonna feel like a hamster wheel. And, and and you have to get that that mindset right, you know that 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 punch, pop, pop, one after the other one. You have to feel that that energy, you know. You have to feel that energy. It doesn't mean that you're obnoxious, because I know some people think I'm obnoxious. Maybe it's the caffeine, it's the it's the. And I don't have any espresso here. It's just coffee. I used to do the whole americano, you know, and I'm like, no, dude, I gotta stay away from the americano. The, the the I used to do single shot of espresso and and I've always been very like high on life you know like like since I was a little kid people were like dude you gotta put that kid in a sport or something I tried playing soccer but uh, I wasn't that good no I wasn't that good uh, but maybe because I didn't do it enough but uh, I got I got interested in the arts very early on so since I was a kid I I mean I've I've always been working on huge pieces of work murals that kind of deal and and just being very involved in 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 keeping my energy level high i love that there's a it's not the rush that i love it's the not like 
you know how some people have to like I don't know like skydive to feel a rush or whatever. I don't. I'm 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 pretty chill when I'm by myself. But when I feel like I need to do something, right? I used to be a musician. Like I go balls to the walls. Like I'm like I gotta you know I gotta hit it hard. I have to go hard. And with painting, it's the same thing. Like I can't just do one painting. If you guys go check out my eBay, those of you who are like, dude, how do I get started on eBay? I don't know, blah, blah, Go check out my eBay and, and see what I'm doing. You know, maybe, maybe see, maybe you won't like something. Maybe you like something. Maybe you get inspired. Maybe you're like, dude, I don't want to do this at all. Right. But go check out and see. I have thousands of paintings. I have thousands of paintings. Just, I like creating. I just, I'm, I'm into that. I don't know. I don't know. It's just me. Right. It's just me. It's the whole creation that drives me. I need to be creating. And it, and and a lot of the work you guys don't see. Like a lot of people think that I put a lot on eBay. Man, I, I do so much work that never gets to see the light of, of, of the day, right? Because I'm I'm always changing and moving and, and I get a lot of patrons that come to my home studio and well because I turn this this home into into a the whole house I turn it into a studio. And and I get a lot of people that 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 come here and just buy from me in the studio, right? So it never gets even, it never it never goes to eBay. So I, I I'm very blessed that way. I love it. I think that if you just, you know, if you just if you're passionate and you move with passion, if you're not just passionate in your mind, but you're passionate in your heart, right? True passion, and you move with it, good things start happening for you. You know. The, the path sort of just starts opening for you and, and, and things start working, whatever that is, right? I don't know. We all have a different gig, right? And the cool thing is that we all have a, a gift or a bunch of gifts. Did I start sketching? Uh, did I start uh, this piece sketching the rabbit or did I just go for it? I went for it, but I sketched it in a way with, with a paintbrush. I, I, I sketched it with a number four paintbrush. I like to use number fours to sketch because number one, number twos are very thin. And I just kind of use that to, to sign my name. I feel like they're very thin. And although they, they, they do work like a, like a pen or a pencil or whatever, I, I like them a little thicker because it just, it, there's more freedom, right? I want to mess up. That's one of the things I, I, I and I'm going to start doing some, some videos on that and, and, and showing you guys how, like I I purposely want to fuck up. I purpose I'm sorry I dropped the F bomb. I purposely want to mess up. Because if I mess up, then it, then it's only going up from there, right? I can always adjust. But if I'm being careful and I'm afraid and I'm and I have to be very careful and even I've seen some abstract painters be very careful and I'm like, dude, I, I don't know, man. I, I wouldn't do it like that. I would I would just throw paint on it and see what happens. Like like stick it on the wall and see what happens. <laughs> I would just stick it on the wall. You know, throw things on the wall and see what sticks. Because that's how I learn. That's how I learn. I learn by by just, you know, just you know, trial and error, trial and error and then and then adjust. You can always adjust. What you can't do is is do something like try to adjust before doing. So what I do is that I I I do I, it, we have a little saying in, in my in my home uh, where I grew up in in, in uh, I come from a from a Mexican family right well I'm Mexican so my we have a big family and uh, and and we have a saying right that uh, 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 Pancho Pancho Villa right <laughs> crazy Pancho used to say uh, uh, the, the the crazy general from Mexico used to say hang him and then figure it out later right. So, so it's a little saying, right? I know it's kind of violent, but, but, but bear with me. It's just, uh, it's just, it's just to say, look, do it first and then figure it out, right? So Pancho Villa used to say that, like, like, like shoot first and then figure it out, hang him and then figure it out, right? <laughs> so, so that's how I approach paint. I approach paint that way. Look, paint it, like get some paint, right? Get your brush, paint, and then adjust. Don't try to adjust before painting. And there's magic in that. There's magic in that. There really is. You know, whatever you do, if you just, if you just, you know, if you are, if you take this approach of just going first, go for it, right? Go at it and then figure it out. Then you can adjust. Then you do little stuff, little tricks, right? 
little things, right? Like, oh, okay, uh, I don't like, there's too much over here. Okay, well, then you can get it, and then you can do what is called uh, reductive, right? You start reducing, right? You start, you know, uh, uh, you, start, you start adjusting, right? You start tweaking. But first you paint. First you want to paint. And... And it's difficult because it's 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 uh we're not we're not really told to do things that way. We're told to uh, measure, you know, balance, uh, uh, become a good draftsman first. And I certainly I'm not against that, but but that's not it's not the only way. I'm not against that because because uh, drawing, however you draw, whether you do abstract or whatever, if you get proficient at it. Um, your paintings are just going to you, 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 because because many many of us as artists we are limited many times we are limited to what we can draw right I don't know if you guys feel that way as well but I used to feel this way oh man I can draw trees and a landscape but if you tell me to draw a horse oh man oh well what do I do you know like like I'm gonna have to stay there for for a good while and draw it and I had friends who were like dude I can't even draw the horse I have to project it. You know, and, and that, that fear of, of I'm limited to themes, I'm limited to subject matter. So one of the things that broke me through from that is just sketching every day and sketching different stuff and being being for like forgiving, you know, to myself and being like, you know what, my my figurative drawing sucks, but it's cool to me. Right. Because people would tell me, oh, that sucks, man. Like, like there is no real foundation to that. And I'm like, but it's cool to me. Like, it's, it makes sense to me. It makes sense to my je ne sais quoi. So I gave myself permission to suck at it. And, and, and those of you, like, I'm not saying don't care for it. You care more for it when you give yourself permission to be imperfect. One of my favorite books, it's called uh, The Tao Te Ching or The Way. Uh, uh, it's a deeply, deeply spiritual book. It's a very old book. And, and, and I love old I love all books that 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 have to do with with uh, just being a better person, you know, the Bible and 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 and, and all, all sorts of spiritual books out there. But I really, really love the Tao Te Ching because uh, I think in, in I think in Chinese it, I'm not sure. I think it means the way or something like that. I'm not sure, but uh, but it says in there, right? Like like allow yourself. You know, allow things to, 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 uh, one of the translations uh, I love is by uh, this the gentleman, uh, Mitchell. I forget his first name. What's his first name? Uh, is it Mitchell? I think. I think it's Mitchell. Uh, the translation says, I'll, I'll, I'll allow yourself to be crooked in order, in order to straighten up, right? So this for me was very powerful because it goes back to, dude, just act first. And then, you know, allow yourself to be crooked. Just act first. Just do what you need to do. You know, be the bull in the china shop, right? Like, break, break a bunch of stuff. When you're painting, break a bunch of... Stephen Mitchell. Thank you so much, Walker. <laughs> Stephen Mitchell. There you go. <laughs> That's the guy. Uh, and, and I'm so glad that, 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 uh, that this person, uh, Stephen Mitchell, was, was the one who, who, who did the, the translation. Because... Uh, uh, you know, it, even the reader or the person that that writes uh, has to be in that wavelength, and I and I'm I'm more than sure that Stephen Mitchell is in that wavelength as well. Uh, very openness, you know, having a lot of openness, and and when when you paint, this is one of the things that I like to do, right? Like I, I know I'm I'm mixing things here because I'm talking about something deeply spiritual, and then I'm talking about like Pancho Villa, who was a very, a very, uh, to say the least, right? A very uh, uh, violent. Uh, person right uh but it's that approach of living life right of being of being of 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 just being first right uh, just just being in a place where 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 it's okay to 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 hang him first right to say i i know it sounds like terrible but but uh bat first right let's put it in baseball analogy here you know you know like like swing the bat and then you can adjust. Don't try to adjust first before swinging the bat. Swing the bat first. It's really what I'm trying to say. I just use analogies that I grew up with <laughs> from a Mexican family. <laughs> swing the bat first and then you can adjust. And and that's my approach in painting. And it's it does wonders. It does wonders. It really does. 
I used to do it. I used to do it the other way. I used to first try to try to adjust, try to paint, write, do the drawing. You know, try to figure out where the drawing is going to be, where the colors are going to be. I used to take out my color wheel and try to check it out. And certainly, those things have a place. But you got to come to a point where you do it so much that you have to put that away. You have to put it away, and now you have to rely on your on your on your guts, right, on your stomach, on your instincts, and not so much on your head anymore. So I'll leave you guys with that. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for being a part of this. I really, I really, really, really enjoy uh, having this uh, commentary, having this conversation with you guys, those of you who write. Uh, and don't forget, guys, uh, this, this painting is going to be in an auction on eBay, on my eBay store. So uh, in order to find it, because uh, you can only put so many links here, I think only one link in, 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 in Instagram, uh, just click on my link on my profile, and when you get to the to the eBay store, uh, just type in Jose through my name plus the word rabbit, and and this this baby will pop up, right? This and a couple of other ones we're probably gonna pop up. I did some ink ones too, some ink on paper that are that are just really cool, and the same approach, right? Swing first, swing, swing the back. I'm going to start saying that. That sounds way less violent. <laughs> swing, swing, and then adjust. Swing the back. Always keep swinging. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Take care. Much love. Today's my birthday. This is how I celebrate it. I celebrated my birthday uh, uh, yesterday, too. I hung out with my family. We're doing some cool stuff with my family, you know, walking around. I got a, I got a, uh, an apartment downtown, and... and you know, because we spend most of, most of our time there. You know, we walk around the galleries and whatnot. So we went we went to have dinner with my family, and it was a really nice it was a really nice time. I thought it was pretty cool. And now I'm back in my my uh, my other uh, home studio, and we're 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 gonna do some magic. Working on a Sunday, I love working on a Sunday. Nobody's expecting you. You know, it's like you're 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 like a ninja if you're working on a Sunday. Everybody's like, oh, dude, I got to take Sunday off. Not this hombre. This hombre is working on a Sunday. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. Love you. Adios. And uh, love thyself. You don't love thyself. You can't not only know thyself, love, thy love thyself. Thank you so much, Glama. I really appreciate all the beautiful messages. Thank you so much. Love thyself. Because if you don't love thyself... There is no way in hell you can love someone else. We love ourselves first. Take care, guys. Adios.